folks, Aki has been out for a little bit in Street Fighter 6. I've been playing her, a lot of people have been playing her, and the verdict that we're getting, especially from the Japanese scene, some very notable players have come out and said they feel that Aki is not very good. So why is this? Today in the video we're going to go through, we're going to talk about what I feel are Aki's strengths, her weaknesses, and why I feel that people right now are generally feeling like she's not particularly strong. By the way, guys, I just wanted to mention the folks shirt. We still got some of these in stock, jmcroftsmerch.com. I'll link it down below. Make sure to pick up your vintage retro folks tee while you still can. But with that plug out of the way, let's take a look. First of all, the first place I saw this being talked about was Nemo, if you guys don't know. Nemo, one of the all-time great Japanese Street Fighter players. He had this to say about Aki. <laughs> so Nemo put Aki in the bottom tier, and he even made a matchup chart where like the vast majority of the cast have 7-3 or 8-2 matchups against Aki. And then Goichi as well. Goichi had posted this tier list on Twitter where uh, it's unclear whether the tiers are ordered, but if they are, then Goichi essentially put Aki as bottom one in the game. So why is this the case? I think immediately after playing Aki for a few days, I definitely felt that she has some flaws, right? She, she seems to be designed as a character that's very strong in some ways and very flawed in some other ways. Similar to a character like Dalsim. Dalsim has some amazing options, but he has a lot of notable weaknesses. As opposed to a character like Luke or Jury, where, you know, they are just kind of strong across the board. They don't have any obvious weaknesses. So let's talk about some of Aki's strengths first. Let's get the good news out of the way. Okay, so first of all, Aki is very good when she gets a knockdown. You might have seen people talk about Aki having very strong knockdown pressure. She has a lot of built-in safe jumps, even mid-screen. It is not very common for characters to get a nice clean safe jump like this mid-screen that is going to be safe against reversals from the opponent. In the corner as well, she has the obvious safe jumps just like that, but she also has some really amazing safe jumps where she can get knockdowns and set up like that. But she also has some setups like this where she can get a safe jump in the corner off different special moves. She can knock you down in the corner and set up the puddle and she can be plus on block after this fireball so she can create some really advantageous situations on a knockdown so i think that's probably her biggest strength her other strengths are she has some really good normals she has some really bad normals in fact i would say in general her normals are probably below average but some of her normals are very good so forward plus heavy kick this is a really good normal plus on block you can combo off it on hit into down jab speaking of her down jab is pretty good this is one of the more solid four frame moves in the game i would say it's got good reach and uh you can just confirm off this into any of her standard combo enders so that's pretty nice her sweep is like low-key one of the best sweeps in the game i think uh the range on this is absolutely absurd and on punish counter, she gets some really nasty setups. And then her down heavy kick, this ended up being a pretty solid normal as well. Uh, it is a quite decent anti-air. And on counter hit, you can hit confirm into a combo. So it's pretty decent for stuff like that. And in certain situations, you can juggle this into down heavy punch, but this is pretty finicky. I think that uh, going into super is generally going to be a lot safer and you can go into any of her supers off this, which is very nice. Finally, her other anti-airs are pretty solid as well. Her quarter circle forward heavy punch, you know, this move is generally pretty good, I think, but it, it does sometimes behave in a weird way where you're going to like slide under them and it whiffs. But I feel like the fact that this is upper body invincible and like if they're already poisoned, they're going to eat like ridiculous damage off of this when you pop the poison. I think that makes it pretty strong and opponents have to be pretty scared to jump at Aki as well. So those I would say are her biggest strengths are her knockdown game 
is really good. Some of her normals are really good, not all, but some. And uh, her anti-airs are pretty good as well. But let's talk about her weaknesses because I feel like we're really starting to see how big her weaknesses are and how much they stand out. So immediately, one of the biggest flaws I started feeling with Aki is that her drive rush options seem not particularly great. So you can see like all her drive rush moves are gonna be plus one. So it's like, okay, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. They're all plus one. And what that means is if you want guaranteed pressure when the opponent blocks this, your only move to do that is down jab. Because if the opponent goes for a four frame and you go for something like standing medium punch or something with more range, they're going to actually interrupt you. So uh, doing stuff like this is not very real. You can get jabbed out of it. So you want to go for down jab. But obviously, this comes with the issue of you're, you're left pretty far away a lot of times, right? I want to go for down jab, but it just like functionally won't hit. So uh, yeah, this is really awkward. I really wish that she could do something like far medium punch or something like that just to force a frame trap that works from multiple ranges, but it just doesn't really work that well. So her drive rush feels a little bit underwhelming to me. And you know, you want to do this thing where you make them block a fireball, and then you drive rush behind it and get your pressure going. But uh, a lot of times when you do this, uh, you just end up in this weird, awkward limbo where you can't actually pressure them the way you want to. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed by her drive rush options. We compare this to a character like Kimberly, you know, her down medium punch is plus three. Her stand medium punch plus two, down medium kick plus five. So Kimberly is plus, she was plus six right there? You're kidding me. So yeah, Kimberly is massively plus on these moves. So she has the option to go into a lot more stuff. She can go for standing medium punch off this and stuff like that. So with Kimberly, this is just gonna work for um, a lot more ranges. And this applies to many other characters as well, you know, like Jury with her crouching medium punch and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, Aki, her drive rush feels quite underwhelming, and drive rush is one of the best mechanics in the game, so having a weak drive rush really, really hurts. All right, next up, let's talk about another issue with Aki, which is her wake up. So, Aki potentially has the worst wake up in the game. She's definitely down there with like Doll Sim and uh, I don't know, Zangief maybe. Definitely one of the worst wake up characters in the game. So, when she gets knocked down, her only real invincible move is that EX slide, right? This EX slide will go through attacks. She doesn't have like a dragon punch or anything like that. So that that's pretty much all she has. And uh, obviously this move is throwable, but what you may find is that it's very easy for the opponent to beat this option without having to guess or without having to commit. So here you can see Kimberly knocks me down and she does two jabs, right? So if I just block on wake up, it's like, okay, I'm blocking the jabs. She's gonna do whatever throw or drive rush or whatever kind of mix up she wants to do uh, after I block those jabs. So I don't want to get put in that situation. So I'm going to wake up with EX dash and yet I get thrown. So she's actually option selecting against my wake up by doing jab throw. You will get two jabs if they block or you will get a throw if they wake up with the reversal. So this is very, very strong. Obviously, this drastically reduces the amount of things you can do on wake up because now both these options blocking and reversaling are going to get beaten by the same thing from the opponent. So this is really bad. So I know what you're probably thinking is, well, I'll just wake up with level one instead. Level one is invincible. It'll it'll go through. It'll work. Right. But the problem is. You can see her level one has 10 frames of startup and a light attack, Ryu's light attack, for example, has seven frames of recovery, which means that Ryu has time to stick out the jab on your wake up and still block the level one. So he can actually react to the screen freeze and he will have time to block the level one. Okay, let's try level two instead. Surely level two will work. Uh, no, level two is not invincible. Okay, what about level three? Surely level three will save us, right? Uh, no, level three is also 10 frames. Uh, for whatever reason, Aki has one of the slowest level threes in the game at 10 frames, so it's not really gonna work as a reversal either. So this one setup of jab, jab, or jab into throw will beat everything. It'll beat blocking, it will beat pressing buttons on wake up, it will be wake up super and it will be wake up ex slide so her wake up 
is really bad. Which is unfortunate because, you know, this is a game where like one bad decision and you're just knocked down into the corner and then you got to guess and the opponent's going to go for throw loops or whatever. So, uh, yeah, getting knocked down one time can be really bad and Aki has to guess on Wake Up more than most characters in the cast. And finally, let's talk about what I would consider the third major issue that Aki has, which is unfortunately, I believe that Aki's neutral game is simply not that good. So uh, she's a character who's really good when she gets momentum, but it can be very hard for her to get that momentum started. So why is that? So obviously we talked about her drive rush normals, in my opinion, are a little bit underwhelming. So she doesn't have the ability to just like instantly start offense from like half screen, like a lot of the better characters in the game can. But also like, I feel like once you get outside of like forward heavy kick range, her options really start to fall off. So like what moves does she have that are that useful from like this range? From like outside of far forward heavy kick range. You can see her forward plus heavy punch is minus four. So uh, this move is not particularly advantageous to throw out and you can't cancel it into anything except super. So this is like her longest range move, but uh, you do kind of lose some advantage when this is blocked. Similarly, her far heavy punch minus five, heavy punch into heavy punch is minus 15. So you definitely don't want to throw that out. Her down medium kick is not cancelable. So you can't do down medium kick into fireball like you could with someone like Ryu to uh, apply some pressure from further away. Her fireball is definitely solid, but it's kind of an issue that she only has one fireball speed. Uh, so she's very, very easy to parry her fireballs because she can't mix up the fireball speed at all. So I feel like once the opponent gets the life lead on Aki, it's very easy for them to turtle her out. She doesn't really have a way to force the opponent to come at her. They can just sit back and, and parry your fireball all day and they'll never get hit. And the fireball does not apply poison unless it hits. The, her fireball also has very long total duration. You can see 52 frames of total duration, which if we compare that to Chun-Li, for example, hers is 45 frames duration for the medium version. So Chun-Li is gonna have a lot more time to recover and anti-air you after her fireball. So I just find an issue that happens a lot in almost every matchup is if you're behind as Aki, you really have to like chase the opponent down and try to corner them to really get anything going because uh, yeah, her like longer range options just don't feel particularly strong to me. You have to be the one on offense. And there are a lot of characters in the game that are like really happy if they can get full screen from you, even if they're like a rushdown character, you know, Lily is a grappler, but she's still really happy at full screen because she can use that as an opportunity to charge wind stocks. So like Lily is like low key, a really hard matchup for Aki because Aki just has to constantly chase her down. And anytime Aki throws fireball, she's at risk of the uh, wind condor spire going through so that's tough obviously the same thing applies with characters like e honda and ryu who they like to be full screen as well so they can activate their sort of install power up mechanic and also dawson wants to be full screen jp god forbid you know jury as well jury can charge up stocks when she's full screen and aki just really has like no way to punish this because her fireball's slow so they'll have plenty of time to start powering up and still be able to parry the fireball. And then nothing else she has is really that threatening. And again, her drive rush is just not that good. So you're not really that scared of like a long range, like drive rush up into combo. It's just not that threatening from Aki. So yeah, I feel like I've been kind of negative about Aki. I want to be clear. I really like playing this character. I think she's viable. Obviously, there are people at high masters with Aki. We haven't really seen any tournament results with Aki yet, but uh, you know, even Nemo, who put Aki as bottom tier, uh, is really, really high MR with Aki online. So you can do really well with the character. It just kind of feels like she has to work harder than average. But I plan on getting to master with Aki. I'm going to be making a lot of content for her because I really do like the character that much. And, uh, you know, just to just to test things out, what do you say we hop online and get a few matches in and see if I can show off some of Aki's strengths instead of just focusing on her weaknesses like I've been doing all video. All right, I will say, though, Aki has probably the best load screen meta of the game. Alternate between left and down. And her like head shake is so good. So we're fighting Honda. I'm laughing at this guy's name. I flip a to switch. Okay, bro. Well, I uh I get the perfect parry. So what do you think about that? But I don't think I mentioned this, but her jump heavy punch, by the way, is actually a really stupid move. 
Her jump heavy punch is a really good jump, and it's similar to like JP jump heavy kick. Oh, a nice whiff punish. Okay, so we get a safe jump here. And he was not ready, but neither was I. Uh, okay, okay, awkward stuff. I'm jumping back to try to bait head, but oh no, I jump back directly into it and I'm Oicho throat to death already. Okay, I see you. So yeah, it's it's pretty hard to, to just be the aggressor against Honda. You know, we just got to rush him down constantly, risk getting headbutted. And you can see like the fireball is just not a threat. The fireball is not a threat whatsoever. He, ha he has no reason to do anything but just parry it. Oh, I dropped my dropped my comboni, but it's fine. He gave me a freebie on that one. Let's just do easy combo here. Get some poison going. Hold this puddle, brother. Ah, we could have done something way better there. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm choking. Oh, that was bad. That was bad, too. Okay, this guy's going mad random here. He's going mad random. Let's go, brother. Okay, we got the poison off. Okay, safe jump set up. Oh! I didn't expect to go to the other side there. That was my mistake. was that drop okay it's fine all right this guy seems definitely not ready for Aki's shenanigans which is good news for me he went extremely random there but yeah Aki her anti-airs are definitely solid definitely solid I respect this guy running it back let's go as you can see her anti-airs continue to be solid but uh, Honda anti airs are pretty good too I'm gonna do throw this time yep now we can set up fireball oh awkward Ooh, <laughs> he's going crazy oh he's going crazy Oh, you can see that range is just so hard for her. Nothing she has is very good there. Surely he feels like jumping, right? Jumping jumping just seems so tantalizing here. All right, we got poison on. That's really good news. Oh, he went through. He knew. He knew. He knew. Wow, the sweep. Okay, I understand. He's learning as he fights. Can you feel like how frustrating it is to just have to walk forward and like chase these guys down because there's nothing that I can do from range Oh, we needed a better punish there. Oh I went for throw but I got thrown out of my throw That's a punish All right now we can get the party started boys Let's go set this up set this up Walk up, throw, bait. Oh, I needed a cancel there, but it's fine. Fireball beats all his wake ups. Except the X headbutt, I guess. So we, we definitely had like a party time situation right there, which was fun. But it just feels like it doesn't really happen that often. All right, we got the poison on. Can't die to poison, though. <laughs> that was a miracle. Miracle crouching medium kick. All right. Let's see if we can actually utilize our level three here. That'd be nice, right? Oh, the third hit got me. All right. All right. We'll just do easy, easy level three combo here. And I'll just set up fireball. I mean, he's poisoned, so. Yep. And then I'm going to bait. 
Oh, his poison ran out at a most inopportune time. Nice parry, but it didn't matter. There, no HP for the armor. So yeah, we beat Honda. So that feels pretty good. Hey, not too shabby. Let's see if we can get one more good match in. All right, we're up against Cammy. I mean, my my load screen tech is better than Cammy, but I think in every other way, Cammy is going to be this superior character here. Many people say this is one of Aki's worst matchups. So we'll see if that holds true. I mean, I'm getting horrendously rushed in the corner here. Definitely trying to press buttons when it's not my turn. Oh my god. All right. Got the knockdown. Nice parry there. Okay, we have a big chance here. Good neutral jump. That was good. Maybe it was too greedy to go for the DI there, but I just felt like I needed to secure a win and not just try to play too safe. All right. Oh, that was the wrong move. Just wake up super here. Nice thing is super does leave them poisoned, so it has that going for it. Wow, the elbow or the knuckle that is. All right, side switch is really useful here. Safe jump, safe jump. So yeah, you can see people aren't respecting the safe jumps here in Diamond, which is great news. When she gets knockdowns, she can definitely party, guys. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wake up level one again. Screw oh, nope, just kidding. He backed off, he, he kind of signaled to me. Oh no. Oh! Get in the corner. Now we set up fireball. Yep, level one actually worked. A uh, little out of range for that one. Yep, level one. Yep, yep. Dude, that knuckle is actually destroying me. Get off of me. Oh no, the knuckle! That was good. That was good. I should have known. I should have. Maybe I had time to do down jab or something there. Uh, that hurts. That hurts. You can see only having one slow fireball, you know. No way to mix up the speed can definitely be a little bit awkward. I don't know how I didn't DI there. I was so slow. Holy. Holy. Okay. And we got baited. Getting a little too predictable here. Is this going to be a perfect? Yo, let's go, brother. It was a perfect. Guys, no, it's falling apart. We were one hit away from winning the last game, and now we're getting perfected. All right. Didn't expect that. I'm going to be real with you. Tried to interrupt the knuckle there, but nothing doing. You let it rip from half screen? How dare you, sir? All right, I'm in ultimate focus mode now. You. I for a second there, I thought my move was gonna come out, but the the screen freeze ate my input. The screen freeze ate my input. We're still in there, boys. Damn, I'm mashing jab, trying to beat the spin knuckle. All right, he's gonna bait, surely. Yeah.
No, oh, did you bait again? Oh, nice. No. That was so free, guys. Well, I mean, you can kind of see what happens when you get knocked down, right? When you get knocked down, you, you just lose, unfortunately. Oh, he wants to fight in custom room. You know, I respect it, but unfortunately, I got to end the video here, guys. Yeah, so you can see the character. She has really high highs and really low lows. It's really fun when things are going right, but man, does it hurt when things are going wrong. It's just one knockdown and it's over. It kind of feels like playing Dalsim, except Dalsim actually has good neutral. So, uh, yeah, a, a bit of a bummer that Aki has ended up being uh, definitely, I think it's safe to say she's below average. I don't know if we can say she's like bottom five, bottom three, whatever, but she's below average for sure. But I think this is the type of game where any character, regardless of where they are on the tier list, can win if you put the time in. So I'm going to keep putting the time in and we're going to get Aki to master. So I hope you guys tune in for that. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.